Hey, good morning. My name's Scott Rohde. I'm with Field and Sports. We work with Modern Buggy. We're at their factory today, and we're going to show you the new Modern Buggy, Big Buggy. All right, so there's a quite a bit to see here. If you're out shopping for a small Overland, affordable Overland trailer that retails below $25,000, you found it. If you're looking for an electric, if you have an electric vehicle and you need a small trailer that's aerodynamic, light, etc., you found it. So let's start on the outside, if you would. Follow me in. There's a lot of things that are different. All right, in this category, you're normally going to see just pull out single step or aluminum steps. Some of them we pulled out actually almost even cut your fingers. All right, so this is a platform step. It's adjustable. You can see you've got a lot of different areas you can adjust depending on the ground and so forth. It's got little paddings, stores in there. That is a lot safer, you know what I mean, as far as stepping up and down little uh, areas of not to slip on, little slip strips and so forth. This category also, you don't normally see a large grab handle. It's easier to get in and out. Um, we start with what we call the Overland package. So off-road tires you want big thicker off-road tires uh, you're looking for that sort of thing you get a little more height they're 15 inch and it's they're more puncture resistant going down gravel roads rutted roads what have you the next thing with overlane you want a axle so we start with the dexter torsion axle best in the business been doing it over 60 years you can actually crawl under if you want look for dexter okay if the sticker's not there they actually stamp it on sometimes we even put it on the outside we have an upgraded suspension that's not visible right now, but it's called the Timberland Axles. That'll give you a little more ground clearance. Right now we're at 14 inch ground clearance. Your standard stock vehicle's 11 inches or less. So a lot of these trailers that are out there, especially teardrops, um, they're gonna be smaller, smaller tires. They don't give you that ground clearance. The low point is the center of the axle. That's your low point, we're 14 inch. Dexter has a lift kit you can buy aftermarket have your dealership do it, you can do it yourself, you're good enough, you can raise it another three. So that'll give you 17. The Timberland gives you near 18, okay? And we've got videos on Timberland and Dexter if you wanna go ahead and check that out on our, our website. So good tires, better suspension, better ground clearance, okay? Look for that when you're shopping for an Overland product. The cool thing about the big buggy is, it retails below 25,000. All right, you have a stand-in, uh, bathroom, kitchen, we'll go in there and show you that. But typically anything in this category that you're shopping with walk-in, 50,000 on up, okay? And anyone else um, that's less than that won't have the features we do. So that's your front here. Keep in mind when you look at Modern Buggy, this on the outside is the Area 51 decor, and they have a graphic package called Cascades, all right? So if you take a look at the Cascade, I can't tell you if you like that one or not, but it gives you an option. Exterior-wise, we also have an Alpine White, we have a Mojave, and we have an Onyx. Cascade Graphics, you can also get a Topographic Graphic or a Classic Graphic. So, we're not just giving you one color, one graphic package. When we get inside, we talk about cabinets. We're not making you buy what we're building. We're trying to go ahead and match what you want. So keep that in mind. Most brands today just give you one option. We're giving you more. Let's walk to the back here. This is unique. In this size trailer and all the in the modern buggies, you're gonna get a two inch receiver. In this particular case, we put on the optional storage rack, but a lot of people will also put their bicycles and especially EV bikes. I've not seen this in, in a lot of trailers in the back. Little extra storage. You can throw some cords, throw things in there, and that is really nice. Um, when you're out shopping, see if there's any ex exterior storage on a trailer that really overall, this one is under 17 feet, which is great because all your national parks require 20 foot and less and so forth. You can tow this down and, and around and so forth. It's under nine foot tall, uh, really easy to pull. In the back here, we have videos on this drop leaf solar panel. All right, it's a 110 watt light leaf, but they call it the drop leaf. It's removable. So if I turn this, I turn that, and then you can actually lock it here if you want. This removes, okay? And I can take it off, and I'm not gonna do that now. We have a video on that if you want, but follow the sun. All right, so a lot of times you're camping, unless you're out in the desert, you're trying to park in some shade, all right? And if everyone says they have solar panels, that's great, but they don't move with it. 
And if they are not in the, if they're stored in the trailer, they're not charging when going down the road or they're not charging if you're hiking because you're not going to pull them out. So this is really the best system, something that's attached but also removable. You would follow me over here. And again, you're about to make a purchase. This category, and I've been doing this a long time, I've never had a tankless water heater. All right, an endless water heater, endless hot water. So if, basically some of these brands out there today, if you go in there, they'll say, hey, we have a shower miser. It's just a recirculating pump. It goes to the fresh water. And when that little tube changes color, then you have hot water, so you're saving water. What you have to remember with those, they're tank water heaters. They take 40 minutes to heat up at least six gallons of water. All right, you can look at the recovery time. So you're gonna have to either run your propane or run your power just almost an hour before you have any hot water. This is instant. All right, so as soon as you want hot water, all you have to do is let the water in the line drain out and then hot water's coming through endlessly. Bogatti, which in Italian, it means innovative and powerful. It's pretty cool. Their website's BogattiLiving.com. We did a video on it. They love their door. It's a really cool door. And what they say is it's just really sleek, easy to open, and it won't go flying off. Some of these doors will go flying off. And then when you turn that and open it, there it is. There's really no maintenance to it. When you winterize it, you can winterize it like you do with a regular tank. The thing that also stands out for overlanders, this works at 9,800 altitude. So many of the other tankless or uh, endless water heaters, they don't work above a mile high. And there's a lot of folks out there that are camping out west. Even where I live in North Carolina, there's a campsite at 6,500 feet. This would work. Others wouldn't that are endless and tankless. So look for Fugatti. We'll go inside and we'll show you the thermostat too, which is really cool because most of your water heaters, you just turn them on and it, it, it heats whatever it heats. You can actually set a range with this from 123 down to 94. So if you have children or even yourself, you don't have to scald yourself from overheating. I've never had that. That is so awesome. Look for that. Again, this is retailing below 25,000, all of this. As we move around, you'll see black tank, gray tank, fresh water tanks. You can look at the specs online. That'll get you through wherever you're going. Yeah, and as I'm moving around, you'll also see on the outside here, we have a connector for an outside shower. So if you're somewhere and you want to spray things off or even spray yourself off, feel free. Up to the front, when you're shopping again, look for a battery disconnect. I did it last night, turns everything off. Preserves your battery. Modern Buggy comes with a battery. Comes with two LP tanks. All right, right now, um, most of the competition is one 20 pounder, there's two 20 pounders. You've got a tankless water heater, you have burners, you have things, uh, you know, furnace inside. You don't have to worry about trading out that one tank all the time, which is what our competition has. Our competition also, again, this is, this is truly a classic teardrop, all right? In the sense of fiberglass piece all the way to the back, no seams. Others have fiberglass at the front, and then they're using PVC or another type of roofing material. So this is truly a classic. They also, a lot of brands we compete with, don't have a front window. They've removed it. It's expensive. Or they had leaks or they had problems. We're putting in the front window here. So when you're in the kitchen, you're adding natural light from the front as well as from the sides. Others are just not offering that to you. You can trust this brand. Modern Buggy's been around. I should have gotten into it a little bit. You can see other things, but you can trust him. The owner's been into business 35 years. He's got two partners that have been into business decades as well. These guys know what they're doing and their production crew, very seasoned. They're not trying to build them too fast. They don't have to. Their business model, build them right. So when you go out, you've got a more bulletproof trailer. Whereas others, you know, you have to spend time either working on them yourself or taking them to the shop. This is more of a, when you're out there overland, a bulletproof trailer. That's what we're trying to do here. You move around, nice little seven plug holder, and that's pretty cool, because a lot of overland guys and girls, or when you're off trail, look, you don't want that hanging out in the mud, getting all dirty down there, so holding that's real nice. The wheel's cool because you can move it around. We've moved it around. A lot of them don't have that wheel. They just have a pad, and then you've got to use your truck or whatever to move the trailer around. So look for that as well, especially in lightweight trailers. See the nice diamond plating, knock off rocks and so forth. 
And then uh, as we move around to the front, screen door, some of that's, you know, you'll find in other trailers, but most of the stuff we pointed out in this category, you're just not gonna see. If you would, just follow me on in. As we come in, and we didn't, if you don't mind, just point at that sticker. There's brands out there that do and brands that don't. Asdell is the composite material that's behind all the fiberglass. So when you see the walls, you see the back, you see the roof, Asdell's there protecting any, anything against moisture, uh, getting in and rotting and so forth. It's impervious to hot and cold. It's a better insulator. Uh, we've done some stuff with Asdell. Feel free to download a PDF if you want more information. You wanna look for that. And also what I'm standing on, you can't see, but it's a composite floor. So we don't have a wood floor either. So some of these brands out there that are using Asdell, um, they don't have a composite floor. They've got wood. So ask for that. Say, hey, what's your floor? We don't have that. Others do. You're spending money. You want something that's going to last. You want something that's going to last to when you resell it, maybe. Look for that when you're shopping. Come on in here. All right, so I'm 5'10", 6'2". Most of these trailers in this category are 5'8", 5 5'9", 5 6 foot. So people, when they come in here, instantly feel the difference. I can feel the difference. But also, we don't have that cheap vinyl wallboard which can rot on you. This is fiberglass inside as well. I've sold a lot of trailers, 25,000 retail and under, they don't have that. So when you're out there shopping, just go ahead and feel it. See if they have a fiberglass roof. Coming on in, the biggest thing you're gonna look for in a small trailer is how long's my bed, all right? So take a tape measure with you, be prepared to lie down. This is 78 inches, this trailer's 80 overall, 78 inch bed, okay? I worked with brands before that were 74. Most of the small stuff is 74 inches, okay? So you're gonna want a longer bed because that way you don't have to turn sideways and crinkle up. And it's one of those things that people don't sometimes look for the first time. You know, they're like, wow, I wish I would've tested that. Test it out, lie down, ask it, whatever you're comparing us to, you'll see this is the longest bed in this category. Also put some cool things in here, real nice, you know, as far as the fabric go, there's storage underneath. This is a solid surface, cup holders, Bluetooth speakers, you can see USB ports, receptacles, just some, some netting to throw your phone and, or other kind of knickknacks in. And this is also cool. We added some storage above the balances. I haven't seen anybody do that before either. Um, so it's really got this thing loaded up. And then there's also, as far as pull down, you have the pull down um, roller shades. Look at the bed first. Then the next thing you want to look at when you're camping is you want to look at the bathroom. So small trailers are going to have sm small bathrooms. All right. You have a very convenient toilet. It goes to a black tank. You can see it's all fiberglass, all finished out. I'll stand in it here. And I've got I've got room to move around. I hit my hand, I got but this is this is a shower rod that can, you know, as far as you can hang things on it, you pull the curtain. So you watch your shower rod as you come in. But I've got plenty of room in here. And above my head is a Max Fan Plus, okay? So there are brands out there that have that little cheap plastic fan. There's brands out there that say they have a, you know, a, a max fan, but it's not a plus. There's just exhaust. So if the air is really nice and you want to bring in air, this also intakes. So look for the in or out button. It, we have, we've done some stuff on that, but it rotates. Um, and so the air comes in. Now. That's an upgrade as well. So as far as showering in here, you know, depending on your height, depending on your need, yes, I could shower in here. Can I use the bathroom? Yes. If I... And plugged in somewhere, a lot of times people are, you know, and you've done it yourself. You use the restrooms, you're paying for it, so why not? So you go from the bed, you go to the bath. We've got storage under there, and you can see we've added storage above here, storage there, couple drawers over here, little trailers, and like we said, storage above the balances. You got netting there and some stuff on the back. So storage comes in there as far as a real important point as well. Um, Go up here, you've got as large refrigerators we can put in this size trailer. It's cool because we spent extra money. You'll see brands out there that cost less maybe. Um, they'll just have the burners up. They won't have this nice cover on that. So the burners, this cover serves as you know, counter space as well. Okay, so there's your two burners. The window you can see up here in the front. Nice backsplash. This is really, for a small trailer, you've got as much counter space as you could possibly have. 
we have an outlet over here. Some of the earlier models put it there. And we said, you know what, let's put it there so the coffee maker's there instead of having cords. And then this little area, not just holds spices, but you can fit some small cans and jars and things like that as well. So we use the space behind the shower. Anywhere you can get space, you grab it in a small trailer, right? Stainless sink, room to go ahead and rinse, wash, fill, what you need to do there. As I move over here, you can see the Fogati. And what's cool about the Fogati is uh, the water heaters, we saved 70 pounds. So these other trailers that have a tank water heater, they're carrying around six gallons of water, which is 50 pounds. And then the actual tank and all of that weighs at least 20 to 25. So you're saving 70, 75 pounds right out of the gate. All of that matters. Our competitors, some of these brands that are about 3,000 pounds and so forth, we're 1,000 pounds lighter. So there's a stat out there for every 500 pounds, you save 4% on gas. So you're going to save at least 8%. And with gas prices today, that also helps, okay? But also for towing, you know, you've it's lighter, it's easier. We've seen people trade in big fifth wheels, motorhomes. They want to continue with the lifestyle, but they just don't want all that bulk behind them. All right, it's a lot more storage fee, you know, cost as far as that goes because it's longer and so forth. Harder to store if it's at your house because it just takes up so much more space. As we go this direction, you'll see 13.5, the Medic AC, real nice shroud on it and so forth. As far as blowing air, you get all kinds of directional. You have a 24 inch TV that does swing out. And this over here, control panel, more USB receptacles. I guess that's, it's America right now with all of our trailers. And this would be your thermostat. It's real simple. You change your heat up, down, and turn it on first. So turn it on, heat up and down. And that's either Celsius or Fahrenheit. You don't have that in other stuff, all right? There are. You, other teardrops out there, this is a truly classic teardrop, and you can trust this, this stuff. It's been, Fogati and the materials we're using are better than others. Compare it. You're spending really good money, so go ahead and compare that. We come inside, you're looking at the cabinet color. This is our stained birch, all right? So we talked about exterior colors, we talked about exterior graphics. Again, other brands are just giving you one color. That's it. Like it or leave it. We also have a white sands color. So we have pictures on the website modernbuggyrv.com or you can go to our website fieldandsports.com we're both sharing pictures with both doing videos and you'll see the white sand cabinet so you get a choice in cabinets all right as i make my way this way um if there's anything else i forgot i'm just saying there's tons of room here the bed could be made up all day you hang out outside and um or you can make the bed every day and move that up back and forth let me go outside again here. And I would say, we appreciate you taking a look at this. You like what you see, you know, subscribe to the channel. But you're spending good money. If this is your first trailer, others say it, I agree with them. You know, do it right. Make this, as far as what you ask for, what you're looking for, um, don't make that mistake. Use these videos. Ask your salespeople. We have what you want. Um, go to the website. You can also see where the dealers are located. We're adding new dealers all the time. So we appreciate you taking a look at this classic teardrop. We've been doing it a long time. And you can trust everything you see in here. Not just what we're making, but we're using better vendor items. Thank you very much.